um, I've come to Fortis in India, New Delhi, um, based on the difference of uh, our medical systems in Nauru and India. Uh, I've come here to be treated for my eye conditions, uh, for my uh, heart condition and also for my diabetic. President of Nauru approached us with uh, a problem which was quite unique. At 40 years, he was having type 2 diabetes. He was suffering with uh, this diabetes for uh, more than seven years. He had obesity, but it was a class 2 kind of obesity with a body mass index of uh, just about 37. With these complaints, he approached us and said, uh, do we have a solution for this? So at that time, we, uh, we thought about it and we recommended a metabolic surgery for him because primarily we needed to treat his diabetes and he wanted it to completely go off. That is, he didn't want any medication for his uh, type 2 diabetes subsequently. Uh, his obesity we knew we can treat because there are surgeries which are available which can actually take care of his obesity. But uh, for type 2 diabetes, we had to tailor a surgical procedure which could take care of his uh, obesity and his type 2 diabetes. We had the honor of seeing the President Nauru. He came to us with unstable diabetic retinopathy. He had the end stage of diabetic retinopathy, peripheral diabetic retinopathy, and he had vitreous hemorrhage, active bleed in both eyes. In one of his eyes, he had a focal retinal detachment as well. We found to our surprise that at 40 he had developed uh, uh, some secondary complications of diabetes uh, like uh, diabetic retinopathy, he had started to develop diabetic nephropathy that is problems in the kidneys as well. So what we contemplated was to do a Roux-en-Y gastric bypass but a tailored gastric bypass such that he should not be losing too much of weight since he was 112 kg when he approached us. So we wanted him to get down to about 85, 90, which was an ideal body weight for him. At the pre-operative levels, his blood sugars were 374, uncontrolled completely. We had to keep him in the hospital for at least two days, monitoring his diabetes completely so that we can get back to a near normal diabetic range before we could contemplate a surgical procedure. Uh, five days down the line, after the surgical procedure today, we find that his diabetes is uh, getting less than 100 on uh, just oral hypoglycemics. He has lost about 5 kgs, but then since I have mentioned that we've done a tailored gastric bypass for him, he would not lose too much of weight. He would lose about 30 odd kgs, which would get back to his normal uh, weight of anything around 85, 90. And uh, he's extremely happy because for the first time in his life, he found a blood sugars of 96 which he had never encountered in the last seven to eight years of his life. Within three months, he should be off oral hypoglycemics and beyond that, he should be living a normal life, free of diabetes, having a normal lifespan. Now, keeping his high blood sugar in mind, he came the very high blood sugar. We opted for a conservative management. We did extensive laser photocoagulation in both his eyes and he's doing pretty well. His bleed is also settling in both the eyes. In fact, when I was discussing with him, he had almost tears of joy with him. And he said that uh, the life has completely changed for him. Uh, his uh, blood sugars are getting to normal. He can get back to playing soccer and all those other outdoor activities which he was doing earlier. He's a very tough man at 40. And uh, he's running a country, so he needs to be fit. The diabetic treatment which I have just undergone has been really amazing. Uh, I've been privileged and uh, honored to know the staff of Fortis, the staff has treated me with utmost respect. And, and to the people of my country, Nauru, uh, I just want to uh, convey the message that um, your government will always continue to bring people with medical conditions like diabetics, eye problems and heart conditions to Fortis in New Delhi. Mm -hmm.